So I'm going to continue on this one conversation for this sermon because I got caught up in a bit of a cough. As I told you before, I am getting over a cold, but nevertheless, I'm here to say what it is I'm wanting to say and need to say about God's verse, which is this again as a reminder. Philippians 4, 6, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. So I've told you before that no matter what, it is not me but him that gets into my life, gets into my heart about all things about who he is as God alone. So stop worrying so much about you not being able to do what I'm doing right now. I can do all things through Jesus Christ, God, who strengthens me. And so can you all out there watching this YouTube video right now. It's not that dangerous of a place to be in. It's from God, all of it. It's a way to say that Jesus Christ is God alone with God Jehovah and God the holiness of who he is, the Holy Spirit. They are still one God alone, yet three separate in presence, but still one God. Now, that's not a dangerous situation to be in now, is it? It's all in the Bible. First John 5, 7, the Father, the Word, the Holy Spirit, they bear witness as one. Now, the Word is still God. Go to the book of John, chapter 1, verse 1, 2, and 3, and 14, and it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He, in the beginning, was with God. Drop down to verse 14. It says, the, the word became flesh and dwelt among us. So now in the book of 1 John 5, 7, you can put in there the Father, the word, who is Jesus, and the Holy Spirit bear witness as one. That's his promise. That's the promise of God's hope and us down here to be able to have him with us all of the time through the holiness of who he is, the Holy Spirit. Now, this scripture right here wants us to pay attention to who he is as God alone. And all things given to myself and many around us, around this old earth right now, we don't ever stop to think about saying, thank you, God Jesus, for all of the things that you have blessed me with in my life. From the whole time I have been on this earth and very much aware of you as God alone in my life, spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, and financially. I try to do so more, much more often now than I ever have in the past. And God says I am improving much more on a daily basis because I do give him thanks for God Jehovah sending his precious son Jesus down here to die on the cross for our sins. And I also thank Jesus Christ God for dying on the cross. Personally, I thank him too because he did all of that work so that you and me and many around us and from this moment past and all the way up to Judgment Day, we can have that choice in our will to say, yes, I choose you, God, Jesus. I choose you to worship you as God alone, with God, Jehovah, and God, the Holy Spirit. You are still one, but yet three in separate presence of one God still. Not three gods, one God. I was tweeting out yesterday, and one gentleman tweeted me back saying I was mentioning that there were three gods. No, that's not what God told me to say at all. It has never been that way. He is one God alone, yet three separate in presence. It all says it in the Bible, folks. God Jehovah, His Son, God Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit. So remember this one more time. Philippians 4, 6. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and, with, and thank Him for all He has done. <clears throat> remember to pray for everyone all around you. In your life, in your family, in your friends. And people along the way in your life, people that you meet, say hi to, smile at, wave at, be gracious to and nod in your head. Remember that they all need God, Jesus, in their life also. And pray for all cult religions around this world and all people who have passed away from this moment past <clears throat> and all people who will, be, who will be living and passing away all the way up to Judgment Day. They are no longer here living with us that is, all of the ones who have passed away and will be up until God, Jesus' return and Judgment Day. But we can still pray for them. We can still pray that we can all still be reunited. And however many that is, out of however many people that are alive and have passed away from the beginning of time of mankind's existence here on this earth until Judgment, 
day when it's all done and finished and God turns his back on this world for the last time, forever and ever. Ooh, that's an awful thought to think of. We still can pray for all from the beginning of time until Judgment Day. So please do so. Please remember to do that. Pray for all around this world. All who have passed away. All of us all the way up till Judgment Day. Give God thanksgiving in your life for all things in your life that have occurred right up into this moment of time when you're watching this video. And if you have been doing so, do so more. God bless. That's it for now. Remember, Philippians 4.6. Practice it. Preach it. Teach it. And do it yourself as well, as much and as many times as you can during the day. Praise God, praise God, praise God. When you say that, praise God, that's praising God Jehovah, God Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit. God told me that last year in 2016. So now I do it all of the time. And sometimes during the day, a little bit more often now, I say, praise God Jehovah, praise God Jesus, and praise God the Holy Spirit. I confess you as one God alone, and yet... Still three in the presence of separateness, but at the same time, still one God alone. And I claim that all in Jesus Christ, God's name alone. He has me say it many different ways, but it all still has the same meaning. That's the most important fun, or most important part, and it's fun too. He's got a great sense of humor. Spend more time with him one-on-one. -on -one and practice your prayer language on a daily basis. Remember to ask him to help you with all words that come from him alone through the Holy Spirit. More loud, clear, and pre uh, precise, and exact. Help him to put um, those words from him alone through that prayer language into a beginning, middle, and ending interpretation until he says amen into your heart. That's a great way to begin to learn how to hear God's words in your heart. It's great practice. And that's how I started this ministry with God, Heartline Ministry. It's not about just a ministry and God's word. It's about... Heartline ministering with God personally one-on-one. -on -one. Now that's a new exact way of saying it from him to me. It's awesome to think about. And it's like, hello God, I love you. And I claim that in Jesus Christ, God's name alone. And he says, I love you, honey, too, just as much and more than ever. Praise God, Jesus, for that. Praise God, Jehovah, and praise God, the Holy Spirit. God bless for now, and I will be back another time. Take care.